Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now you've just recently purchased a brand new Canon camera and you don't know what accessories you need just to start your vlogging. Well, you've come to the right place. Anyway, so you've got your lens here already. You've also got your flip up screen as usual, but what exactly else is it that you need to start vlogging? Okay, so if I can just put the camera down and bring with me my pink bowl of goodies. Now, inside this pink bowl are actually five things that you should immediately consider before you start vlogging on your new Canon camera. Just to gather them up, first off, extra batteries. Now, with Canon mirrorless cameras such as APS-C, such as the EOS M-Line series, the problem is with their batteries is that they're pretty fast to dissipate. Henceforth, you actually need a few extra more batteries if you're doing vlogging because you don't want to get disappointed when the battery runs down on your Canon camera because literally, well, it's a few hours of charging so you might want to purchase maybe at least two batteries. So right now I have my Canon EOS M6 camera and I'm rocking the LPE17 batteries which is actually not that great with regards to battery life. But if you like, just purchase two of these at least. You know what, honestly, I haven't actually purchased different LPE17 batteries. I've only purchased the Canon ones, so I'm not sure if those batteries there in eBay are actually quite reliable. but. Yeah, um, if you've managed to use one of those batteries that you purchased on eBay or Amazon, yeah, shout out down in the comments down below. So yeah, I'm pretty interested in how they fare out. Anyway, what else? A good shotgun mic. Now, the problem is with the onboard mic on these cameras is that they're really not that good with taking your audio. So the best that I can give you is actually having a shotgun mic with you because the shotgun mic actually takes in better audio quality. Plus, if you have a dead cat to connect to the shotgun mic, it'll save you the hassle of recording again because of loud wind noises outside. Let's just put that there. So while I'm doing this, maybe I could just try to reassemble my camera so you could basically see how it looks like or how it is. Okay, so I've got here my Canon EOS M6 Mark II. So basically it's a flip up screen, a flip up camera. So what I can do is take this horseshoe mount out and open this mic jack here and probably do this. Attach this to the horseshoe mount. Okay, so basically this is your starter up. But the problem is since my camera is actually a Canon M6 Mark II, which is a flip up screen, the problem is, well, the screen's quite useless now, is it, for selfies? So let's try to modify that again. Okay, so the next thing I've got here is actually very useful for flip up cameras. It's actually a small rig hot shoe relocation mount that you can just attach it underneath your camera and it'll actually relocate this horseshoe mount so you can use your flip up screen. Okay, so let's try it right now. Now the good thing about this small rig is that it has its own screw mount, which you probably would need to screw this relocation mount as well. Basically, it's just like that. Now let's try mounting the shotgun mic again. Since I wanna do this right, I might as well just attach the mic first because it can get quite cramped once I attach this mic. There we go, that's all good and well. So you've got your shotgun mic attached to your camera and as well, you've got that flip up screen. Hey, so we're nearly there. So I've noticed as well, while this shotgun mic's attached to my camera, it's actually quite odd placing this on the surface. As you can see, uh, the road is still too bulky. Henceforth, you kind of get that on the surface, just like that. But nevertheless, you can still use it. Okay, so what's next? Mm -hmm. Oh, now an SD card is actually very important, especially if you're rocking um, a Canon EOS M50 and above, because an SD card can save you a lot, especially if you have a bigger 
um, a bigger storage type of SD card. Now, since I'm rocking the Canon EOS M6 Mark II, I actually have with me right now the 256GB Lexar UHD 2, which actually processes faster than your regular UHD 1. Now, let's just put that there as well. So you've got your camera body, you've got your lens, you've got your mic, also you've got two extra batteries as well for here. And lastly, you've also got your memory card plus your flip-up screen. So what else do you need? Okay, so let's see what else I can pick up here. Now, ooh, actually, here's the very last one. So when you're vlogging, sometimes your videos could actually get overexposed. Hence why you need something such as this one just to help control that overexposure. So what's this exactly? It's a variable ND filter. Now, what are ND filters exactly? ND filters are basically sunglasses for your lens. So when creating content outside, your shots can get overexposed. Hence why it's actually best to have one of these. Um, it's not only good for video taking, but also good for taking those long exposure shots if you're a photographer. Now, let's just see how this goes. Mm, so, Basically, we just take our lens right here, screw this in, and there you go. So if you can just see in, in the lens right here, let me see that. You can see, if you can just see in the lens right here as it gets darker, see that there? Am I doing this right? Yeah, I'm doing this right. So yeah, as you can see right here, the ND filter filters out the light coming through your lens, henceforth giving you just that perfect shot and not an overexposed one. Now the reason why I didn't include a gorilla pod here is because with my current Canon setup, I already have the Sigma 16 millimeter lens, which is actually pretty heavy already. Yes, the gorilla pod just adds to that heft, you know, so you don't want you don't want to strain your arms too much by holding a gorilla pod as well, because you're pretty much set up just with a 16 millimeter lens, let alone if you even purchase a Canon 11 to 22 wide angle lens, which is actually pretty substantial with regards to vlogging. Now, as you can see right here, holding the lens right now and the camera itself already poses a weight. Now, if you add a gorilla pod to that, it'll just be too heavy. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Now, what do you think about my Canon camera setup? So it's pretty simple. You don't need to spend a lot of dollars just to get that vlogging setup. All you need is a shotgun mic, which actually just costs around $70. You need two extra batteries, some memory cards, and well, of course, a horseshoe, oh, sorry, a hot shoe relocation mount if you have one of those flip up screens and also an ND filter, which doesn't cost that much either. So what do you think about this setup? Leave your comments down in the description below. Oh, I almost forgot. For those of you who are rocking a Canon M3, you can pretty much use this, but I've got something even special for you. Get my pink box again. Now this right here is a small rig cage fit for the Canon EOS M3. Now I thought to myself if I would purchase one again for my Canon EOS M6 Mark II, but this one is actually pretty enough. I really don't need any more here, but the good thing about this is if I can just set it up right now. So I've got this as well, a small rig handle. Now, I'm gonna put that here. And this is my Canon EOS M3. Okay, now, the thing is, since uh, I have the Nifty 50 here, it actually won't fit the Canon EOS M3. So, let me just adjust to a smaller lens. I've got the Canon 11 to 22 millimeter wide angle lens here. Now, this is the same as small rig. When I purchased this, this didn't come in with a screw adapter. Henceforth, you can actually use either your, your nails or a piece of coin would do quarter as long as it fits. Now, the thing is, it has a lot of mounting points, as you can see with the holes right here and also a hot shoe mount here. Now, let me just attach a shotgun mic because 
Like you already know, this Canon EOS M3 is also a flip-up, so basically you can't use this anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to, again, reattach a shotgun mic here. Yeah, pro tip, if you're attaching a shotgun mic or basically a 3.5 millimeter end that you're basically attaching this to a horseshoe mount on the side of most of your Canon EOS M cameras, um, it's best you go with a 3.5 jack first before attaching said shotgun mic. Okay, so we've got that. So you've got your setup already. Now, what else can you do with this? Now here comes the small rig handle that I just purchased way, way back then. It comes with these two screws, hexagonal screws, and the tool as well. So what you can do with this is, like I said, because it has so many attach points, you can just literally just screw your attach points here and also here. Basically, you have a proper camera handle here that gives you an extra grip so that your shots are very stable, especially when you're doing slow motion shots, the ones for 60 frames. Anyway guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that bell icon for any more future notifications. I do hope you find this video very informative, and I hope that you would continue to watch this channel for the rest of your year. Anyways guys, I'll see you all in the next vid.